Today we're going to be looking at when FL Studio won't play any audio. A very frustrating issue, but we've got you sorted. So here I've got a project loaded up in FL Studio, and if I press the spacebar, which is play, then it says that it's playing, but the actual marker isn't moving along the timeline. We can't hear anything, so it's not actually playing. I'm going to press the spacebar again to stop that, and so you can see that it's reacting with the software, but for some reason it's not actually playing. Now to fix this, we're going to go to options up here, and then audio settings. As you can see, here's the audio settings, and we specifically want to look at the input and output. If there's no device set as the input and output device for Ethel Studio, then it can't play. So if I click on this drop down menu, you're going to see quite a few different options. It'll be different for you depending on your audio interface, what drivers you have installed, but a good safe bet is either the ACO for all or using a specific ACO device that is connected to your audio interface. In my case, I'm using a Focusrite 18i20. So I'm going to use the Focusrite USB ACO. Now that's loaded everything that I need for the inputs and outputs. If we just press play, So as we can hear, it's playing now and it's coming out of the headphones, the speakers, whatever you're using. It's a very simple fix, but this is the first of a few fixes we're going to talk about because it might not just be within FL Studio. It depends on your system. So another thing that could be causing the issue of audio not playing in FL Studio is actually outside of FL Studio and it's your audio settings for your system. So if you're on a PC, this is where you click down here and go to the audio settings by clicking this. You can see that the sound output is showing up and it's either speakers or the Realtek digital output. If it's on the Realtek one, then for me, it's not going to play back anything because I'm using my focus right for all of my outputs on the PC. It might be different for you if you've got computer speakers connected to your PC directly, but then it will only play through those computer speakers. So make sure it's on the correct sound input for your particular setup. If you're on a Mac, then the same settings apply in the audio settings of the Mac. So luckily for us, there is a very intuitive tool in FL Studio for determining problems. So if we can't figure out why the audio isn't playing in FL Studio, if it's an issue within FL Studio, then we can use a diagnostic tool. It's just simply clicking on help and then diagnostics. And then from there, you can just press start. It will run the tool and you'll be able to see whether you've got any issues or not. And the great thing about this tool is that if there is something wrong, it won't just tell you what it is. It will give you the option to automatically fix them. I currently don't have any issues with my FL Studio, so it's not going to show anything, but it's a very simple process to go through. And finally, another possible cause, although it is quite rare, for the audio to not be playing in FL Studio, or any DAW for that matter, is for another application or software using the output, and for some reason you can't use it with multiple softwares. I haven't experienced this in quite a long time. I do remember it used to be quite an issue where you couldn't use it for more than one software, but these days... I can run even multiple doors on my computer and I won't have an issue. To double check that this isn't the cause of the issue, close down any softwares that are using your audio inputs and outputs and just make sure that FL Studio still isn't playing. If it does play, then obviously it was an issue of one of your softwares and you can further troubleshoot that by loading up the softwares one by one again and seeing which one is the culprit. If after trying all these things, you're still having some issues, then please contact FL Studio to fix this issue or look at some forums. There's some great answers on there with people who have had the experience of this issue and fixed it in the past. So they're always a great place to find answers, but you weren't quite expecting. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking on that notifications bell so you never miss a video again. For more in-depth tutorials, you can visit our website, homemusicmaker.com, and there is also a forum on that website where you can talk with other like-minded people about what issues you may have or ideas that are coming up. It's just a great community to talk to people in the same situation. And if you have an idea for any videos that you want to see, then please leave a comment in the section below and we'll reply and get straight on that. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.